Alrighty folks, how's it going? I don't know if you can hear that or see it, but the wind is buffeting the car. I can't see us getting up any mountain today, so uh, I'm going to have to execute a plan B. But I'm meeting another YouTuber, uh, he's on his way, we're at Morrison's in Fort William, so we're going to talk tactics over some breakfast and uh, we'll take it from there, but honestly, if we're getting blown about in the car park, there's no way we're going up a mountain today. That's firewood for the buffet! Right, this is the first little obstacle of the day. Oh, Alright, this is Brian. How are you doing guys? AKA a Scotsman Outdoors. That's the one. Check him out, it's a good channel, similar stuff to me. But anyways, uh, we are, I don't know, we haven't even looked at the map Probably about halfway there to the Boffy And I think we've made the right decision because The fronts keep coming and going But on the whole it's been pretty windy And it's bringing in squalls of rain every so often as well Not as bad as a thought though, what do you think Brian? Well, like you say, you get these little spaces in the cloud But uh, yeah, when those clouds close over We're definitely feeling it I mean, there's bloody blue sky above us Blue sky there, but what's coming behind? Yeah, we've got that so yeah, that's where we're going. The, the boffy is up and over there. And <laughs> like Brian says, there's the front coming in behind us. At least it's on our back. That's us. Right, let's push on. Buffy is in sight. Yeah, dancer. Get in there. We're literally just over the brow of this little hill. Hello, hello, hello. Anybody here? Well folks, I don't think there's going to be any shortage of vlogs tonight There's absolutely loads here Happy days Somebody's done a lot of cutting up Super boss Hey I actually had a bit of an impulse buy the other day I've got the new Exped Downmat Lite 5M It's good down to minus 10 apparently and it's a rectangular shape so hopefully that'll be nice and comfy I've got the decathlon pillow as usual and I've just got my sort of free season old sleeping bag because I'm in the boffy so it should be warm enough hopefully and I've brought a bit of Builders Tyvek with me just to protect that from any wood splinters so that is me set up for later on tonight I'm not the only one that's been buying new gear Brand new sleeping bag for me tonight um, What have you got? It's the Rab Ascent 500 um, Apparently down, or it's good down to zero comfort rating um, This is the first down sleeping bag I've ever owned So it'll be interesting to see how it fares uh, Underneath I've got the Sea to Summit um, It's the insulated ultralight mat, uh, mat And again that's an R value of 3.3 I believe it is um, I don't know what that takes it down to and then underneath, because we mentioned about the, the splinters on the wood, I just grabbed the tarp on the way up, just at the, the green weather stop, just to keep the splinters away from the, the mat, hopefully not puncture it. No you deal, mate. And that's me for the night. Get this 
So the rear's fire going down there. Not be sniff that at all. I know, magic. It's a hungry wee stove that though. It fair chews up the wood. Oh, we've well, got the pile of wood to feed it, uh, so it might as well. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the boffy TV. What a welcome sight that is though from the weather out there. I don't know what to do. It's still pretty grim out there. Only one channel. That's a good one. Right, it is nine o'clock. The fire is going well, we've got the coal on and it's absolutely roasting here, down to my t-shirt. I don't know if you can see that, but it is pretty much... There we go. 23 degrees in here. It's roasty toasty. <laughs> Aye. Shorts and t-shirt. Slange of our mate. Slange. Good morning folks, it is just gone 7 o'clock and we're not actually long up. It was a good night last night, just a couple of drams around the fire, just chatting away. We ended up bringing our sleeping stuff through here because I thought why would you sleep through the cold room? Because we got here, this room, up to 25 degrees Celsius, so it was roasty toasty. But anyways, we're just packing up, we've got that hill to do down the glen so we're going to get motoring on. I'll bring you back once it's light and we're... Back on the track. I've not had one of these for a while. What's that? A chocolate mocha teaser. What's that you do here? Oh, you mix them with them. Aye. <laughs> In memory of Hermit Hill. That's what he made. That's what he made, aye. Right, that's us not long left the boffy. Give it a quick tidy up, always try and leave it in better condition than you found it. Plenty of firewood for the next person as well. Anyways, we're heading back down into Glenroy and we've got this Carn Jerig to do, it's a Corbett and it's, it's uh, 834 metres. And there's a little interesting feature about Glenroy I'll show you as well once I get back further down the Glen. It's called the Parallel Roads, but uh, I'll explain more when we get back down there. But anyways, that's us back on the track. We're just going to get our head down, march on, and I'll see you back down there. left the car it took us an hour and a half to get to the boffy back to the car it was much easier because the rivers weren't quite uh, in spate so we've got a bit of a weather window uh, the gale force winds have to pick up from 3 p.m this afternoon and the time at the moment i think it's about half 10 11 so it gives us a good few hours we should be off the hill by then it's looking a bit grim though i'll just spin the camera around so yeah, we're, you'll see Brian up ahead there, we go round and then up this ridge at the back there and then the Corbett summit is in that cloud and it's looking a bit dodgy. Right, that's 40 minutes we've been going now and we've followed the River Roy for two kilometres nearly and now we're curving off and we're branching uphill. So that is where we are headed up here and that is our target in the middle. Boom. Yep, 
Yeah, so Glenroy is famous for the parallel roads and from my understanding is what happened was Glenroy around 13,000 years ago was actually under a lake of ice then over time that lake uh, thawed out, receded and what happened is it left these three really neat parallel lines scarred right across the hillside and you'd be forgiven for thinking they're a man-made feature but it's totally natural, it's amazing so the, the first line is 261 metres and then the next one up is 325 and then the third and the highest line sits at 350 metres and like I said they just go right across the hillside and you can walk up and over them as well they're really interesting feature Right folks, we're about 200 metres off the summit and obviously the wind's getting a little bit stronger getting some hailstones coming in so donned the waterproofs and I've got the goggles out just in case folks, as you probably gathered, we've been up and over the summit, it was ferocious up there, the winds were reaching and breaching 35 miles per hour, wind chill obviously well below, so we've got ourselves off pretty quickly and out of this wind. As you can see though, the visibility still isn't great, so we're just keeping an eye on navigation and we're, we're doing a circuit because if we turn back the way we came, we just would sort have of had that wind right in our faces. Okay folks, we've got about maybe half an hour to the car, the winds are gusting down, it's getting worse so I'm going to wrap this up and uh, I'll catch you in the next one, cheers! <laughs>